Hello guys, my name is Chanu SK, SAP file code S4 HANA Finance Trainer. Today I would like to share you the basic information regarding basic accounting class 9. So basic general entries, this is modern approach, explanation with a small analysis. So these sessions are very helpful to non-commerce students who want to switch into SAP FICO. And uh, so, uh, so far whatever the sessions are uploading, so these are all useful to them. And if you are completely new to this channel or watching my videos first time, please subscribe right now and hit the bell icon. So that you will be notified with many of my videos very soon. So let's go to the topic right now. So the topic is basic general entries. So as I told earlier, so journal is a recording of business transaction. It is a primary entry. So it is a subsidiary, a subsidiary book. So journal is a primary book and it's a subsidiary book. And it is just like recording of transaction. So transaction means day to day. There are several transactions will be happened with the company. So so list of the several transactions I have mentioned over here. So first John. So business was started with cash. So one lakh rupee and the first John. Uh, so rent paid one one thousand. So these are all transactions which are expressed in terms of money. So only the transactions we can record our books. Only transactions that we can express in terms of money that transaction only we can record in our books so so the transaction is already expressed in terms of money so that we need to write in our books so primary entry is called as a journal so general means irrespective of transactions will be there all transactions there is no segregation at all so journal is a recording of the business transaction in, in accounting books of a business okay so general country correct date amount debit and amount credit so that means which amount is uh, every transaction let's say this transaction commences business with cash so every transaction has uh, two kind of accounts or more so the two kind of accounts where what account should be debited and which account should be credited that is very important right so general contain date amount debit credit and accounts so the format i will tell in the second session so this is just like a basic analysis how we can understand so accounting so in accounting career journal entries are by far one of the most important skill to master without proper journal entries companies financial statements would be inaccurate and complete mess let's say if our if our journal entry in our books is uh, any journal entry in our books made wrong so it is impact on financial statements we cannot find the correct amounts so that is the reason so primary entry is very important so we need to take more cautious while uh, recording the transaction in journal so which one which account we need to make it debit and credit that is very important aspect in real time so let's go to the modern approach so this is the modern approach so i mean modern approach approach uh, so type account types can be classified as one two three four five so these are all account types so asset accounts liability liabilities capital accounts revenue accounts expense accounts so asset accounts is just like once uh, asset is increasing so assets are like commissionary building furnitures office equipments vehicles these are all comes under the asset category so once asset is increasing then we need to make debit as i told you earlier there are two there are uh, uh, two accounts will be hitted one uh, once any tra uh, transaction is happened so every transaction has a two kind of accounts will be there so one we need to make it debit and one we one we can make it to credit so asset accounts so if asset is increasing then you can make it debit if asset is decreasing then you can make it credit so liabilities account if uh, credit is the if uh, if we, uh, liability is increasing then credit liability just like debt so if debts are increasing then you can make it credit and uh, if liability is decreasing then you can make it debit so capital accounts so once capital is increasing your capital is increasing then you can make it credit so if capital is decreasing then you can make it debit so revenue accounts revenue just like sales or income so if your income is increasing then you can make it credit if income is decreasing then you can make it debit expenses so if an expense is increasing then you can make it debit and if expense is 
decrease in then you can make it debit so generally expenses we can make it debits so let's understand this concept right now here few transactions are how given so these are all transactions expressed in terms of money and this transaction has a uh, uh, this transaction has dates so first transaction is just like a commensurate business with cash inr 1 lakh rupees so this is the transaction so commensurate business with cash that means he is introducing cash into our business okay he started business with 1 lakh rupee that means he one, he is introduced 1 lakh rupee into the business right so here one one account is capital because his capital is increasing and second one account is second is cash okay so analysis so capital so your capital cash is increasing because you are investing business into that means cash you have invested so cash is increasing so once cash cash means it's asset okay so so cash is in a current asset so cash is increasing that means so once it is increased you need to make it debit so that is the reason cash should be debited and once one account is debited another capital account should be automatically credited right and second one so paid rent 1000 rupees rent paid okay so cash is moving from the company so because so cash is decreasing cash decrease asset is decreasing what we can do so if asset is cash is asset right asset is decreasing then you can make it credit okay and every transaction has two accounts one is rent and another one is cash so cash is decreasing that means cash comes under the credit then rent should be automatically debit so this is modern approach and uh, received commission inr 5000 so you are receiving commission okay commission means amount so you are receiving amount that means your income is increasing so once income is increasing what we can do so it's a revenue accounts revenue means income so if revenue increase then you can make it credit that means so commission as in income so add to capital so cash is increasing so cash is increasing that means you are, you are receiving cash okay you are receiving cash so and two accounts one account is uh, increasing cash is increasing then we can make it debit so one account is debit and another account commission should be debit credited commission is an income and the fourth one is so introduced additional capital of 1000 rupees so this one is already discussed so just go to purchased goods i n r 20000 from b okay so goods are purchased from b so goods are coming to the business one side and cash is moving out from the business so cash is moving out means cash is decreasing so how many kind of accounts here one is purchase accounts and second one is cash account so cash is decreasing that means cash is an asset account so decreasing means credit so cash comes under the credit and and here he purchased from mr b on the credit basis not cash basis okay so that is the reason we need to think once okay so let's look at this this one so goods are coming into the business they are increasing right so therefore goods should be debited and b has become credited okay so here one thing we need to understand that so purchased goods mean goods are coming so assets are increasing so then you can make it you can make it credit if assets are increasing then you can make it credit so generally goods are not assets but anyhow so as per accounting process so anything comes then we can make it debit anything goes that we can make it credit this is real account but uh, here this is modern approach so it is different right so like that so purchased office furniture 5000 rupees so furniture is increasing that means your asset is increasing so we need to so asset is increasing because you are purchasing right so asset is coming that means your assets are increasing and your cash is decreasing no? so this is the concept if assets are increasing then you can make it debit if assets are decreasing then you can make it credit very simple uh, simple uh, concept so i will share this document to you and we have one link box and, uh, description box and comment box so you can please check it out this document 
so these are all basic questions for non commerce students it will be really helpful to them which one need to make credit and which one make to debit there is some uh, confusion among them so that is the reason i am just giving overview so that you guys uh, understand the concept fully so thank you so much for your support this is tony sk signing off